Hello and welcome to our sixth tutorial on Urban Design Software Tool Modeler. In this video, we'll be talking about land uses. Every city block and building in Modeler has land use assigned to it, which makes it easier to understand the model and to calculate urban control values automatically. In the whole plot tab is set default land use, so every city block or building that you create will automatically be assigned that land use. Besides defining default land use for the whole plot, you can also change land use for city block in the city block tab and for building in building tab. You can choose between four basic land uses. Under the land use tab, you can find all the options to edit them. For example, you can change their colors or different parameters and requirements. Based on these settings, Modeler will calculate number of units, required parking spaces and so on. You can also add new land uses or remove them. Let's now see how to add a new land use. When we click Add button, Modeler will open new window where we can define the name and color of land use. Let's name it Education and choose green color. Note that Modeler will automatically copy all other parameters from the land use that was previously selected. Since we created education land use based on residential land use, we obviously need to change primary and secondary units. That said, we can choose classroom for primary unit and student for secondary. Let's say that average classroom occupies 100 square meters of gross floor area and that it provides space for 25 students. We can also set number of required parking spaces per classroom or green area requirements if any. In fact, for the parking spaces, there are different options on how to calculate them. If you check default service land use, you can see that it is set to calculate parking requirements based on gross floor area, not number of offices. This gives you the flexibility on how to calculate parking requirements. Those parameters are important, because Modeler uses them to make different calculations, which offers you an overview of the project. This way you can check in any moment if your design fits the requirements. This is especially helpful when you are working with large models with different land uses where it's easy to get lost in design and forget about the numbers. We can check the results of calculations if you go to Tools and open Urban Control Data Table. Here we have complete data for each land use, just make sure it is checked. This was a brief overview of land uses and how to set them up. If you want to know more about this topic, you can click the link to Modular User Guide where land uses are explained more in detail. Thanks for watching and see you later!